My goal is to make life fun and interesting because knowledge is power. Today I'm going into the kitchen to show you how to cook scratch-made pancakes. I'm not talking about the box stuff you get at the grocery store. I'm talking about creating your own mix with items from your pantry. If you have been using box mix, I'm here to emancipate you. Before we get into the cooking lesson, we have to talk about the science of pancakes first. It is important to understand why certain ingredients are combined together. Once you are armed with this information, you will know what it takes to get the cooking and baking results that you want in other dishes. Before we get into the presentation, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on all the great information I have for you each week. Let's get to it! There are a number of items you will need for your pancakes. This recipe is fairly basic and works as a good base for you to start. Once you have mastered the basics, you will be able to add your own twist to the recipe. We have a couple of proprietary ingredients we use in our pancakes, but we will only share those today. Some culinary secrets must stay in the family. The items you'll need for today's pancake experience include the following. All purpose flour, sugar, baking soda, baking powder, salt, butter, milk, and eggs. All-purpose flour is a general use wheat flour and is suitable for all types of baked goods such as bread, biscuits, and pizza. It is made from hard red wheat or a blend of hard and soft wheats, typically 80-20 ratio. Baking powder and baking soda are dry chemical leavening agents. A leavening agent is what causes your pancakes or any other baked good to rise. These products work by releasing carbon dioxide into a batter or dough through an acid-base reaction, which causes expansion of the batter. Eggs are ubiquitous in the culinary world and serve a variety of purposes. For today's recipe, our eggs will be used to bind or tie in the pancake batter or mixture. Whole eggs and yolks can also trap and hold air that expands during heating and leavening which is what we want as our pancakes cook. Butter, besides being tasty, contributes to the texture of your pancakes. Many recipes call for unsalted butter as salted butter can reduce the effects of gluten in recipes. We prefer to use salted butter in our pancake batter and as a cooking medium on our frying pan. Salted butter gives a nice saltiness to finished pancakes. When baking, consider unsalted butter as salt toughens gluten, which is the substance that gives food their chewiness. <laughs> In general, milk serves as a liquid to moisten your dry ingredients, dissolve sugar, and activate gluten. Milk hydrates proteins and starches as well as leavening agents which initiates the chemical reaction that change the structure and texture of your batter or dough. Salt is used as a seasoning to enhance the taste of food. There is nothing worse than bland, flavorless food. So salting your pancakes is a must. Sugar, of course, gives any item a nice, sweet taste. When you cook sugar at high temperatures, it begins to caramelize. Caramelization gives a nice brown color to your pancakes and gives you a great sweet flavor. Sugar also helps retain moisture. You do not want a dry pancake. Now that we have talked the science, let's get into the kitchen and cook some pancakes! We have one cup of all-purpose flour. We have one cup of milk. We have one teaspoon of baking powder. We have half a teaspoon of baking soda. And we have one teaspoon of salt. We have three tablespoons of sugar. One egg. And one fourth of butter. First, we need to combine the dry ingredients. Dry ingredients. In the bowl, 
two dry ingredients in the bowl. Now stir it up. Now we add our wet ingredients. Our egg, one fourth stick of butter, Now that I have made the batter, my assistant will cook the pancake for me. Now you need to put the butter in the pan and let it brown. Also, if your batter gets a little too thick, you can always add a little more milk to it. You can add your batter. As the pancake starts to cook, look for bubbles on the surface. When you flip your pancake for the first time, it might, it takes only 30 seconds to cook and then you flip it and take it out. Hey Project Kids Nation, this is the final product. We have five big pancakes out of our batter today. Now it's time for the taste test. This is the Maple Syrup Project Kids Nation and it's organic. It's organic maple syrup from maple trees. That's where maple syrup comes from. That's good. Now I'm gonna taste my pancakes. Now that is what I call a good pancake. The texture and the inside, it's soft and moisty with the butter and all the ingredients we had earlier. And this maple syrup, I tell you, that's, that is really good. Wow! We'll learn some interesting things about pancakes today. It may take you a few attempts to get the process right, so don't give up. If it does not go well in your first attempt, cooking like anything else requires practice. Well, did you learn something new today? If you did, be sure to like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notifications. Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and rise up. Bye!